So here's the man right here that fixed my tires, man. I really appreciate you, brother. Let's go, man. Hey, appreciate so you. I'm telling you, man. So I see you busting your ass and working your ass off. I mean, why the hell you do this, man? Do it for my family, man. Uh, got a little boy, Abram, six years old. Got a brand new daughter, two months old. Abram, hell yeah. And my wife, Tiffany, at home. And a special shout out to Tiffany. She uh, worked through the COVID. She's a nurse, was pregnant. So she worked through oh, the wow. pandemic while eight months pregnant. Wow. Through the whole thing. Yeah, I was a truck driver, so man, I can't, can't give her enough credit as well. So yeah, I love it, man. Shout out to my fam. Hey, I love it. Quick update, uh, I ran over some metal on the road, tried to swerve out of the way, end up slashing two of my tires. Um, I made it to the Petro out in Missouri, so I need to go to the shop now. Just another day of good luck, I guess. <laughs> I'm just taking so many damn L's on this trip, man. Yesterday, coolant problems going down the mountain, engine shutting off. Today, off of a pickup truck, there's metal that flings off of his truck, and I don't want to cause an accident, so I just take the freaking metal straight on, and it messes up my tires. I just bought Michelin tires like a month ago, so I'm another $1,200 down the hole so i just want you to know that this is the real life of an owner operator you're going to take a lot of l's and people make it seem like their truck never breaks down that they're always in the money but it's not true i mean i'm over here i'm working my ass off and honestly the other job i did the other day it's gone it's done because this happened but you know at the end you just have to know that you just have to keep on going and you have to know that there's going to be better days. Thank you.